Okay, that's how I've got the music in me by Marsha Hines. And now it's time for us to learn a little bit more about Marsha Hines herself. As I mentioned, I'm doing this into two parts. So today is part one, uh, the Marsha Hines series part one. And I'm playing songs from uh, the CD uh, uh, Queen of Pop, okay? As well as this one, Diva, okay? Um, next... Next, okay, not next, but next, next. So two Sundays from now, uh, we'll be listening to songs also by Marsha Hines. Again, that's the Marsha Hines series part two. Uh, taken from these two albums, okay, this Kothak and uh, Hindsight, okay, but we'll discuss more about these two CDs uh, next week. Uh, sorry, next, next week. So two Sundays from now. So as I said earlier, I'm just going to take the main um, uh, information about Marsha Hines for tonight as uh, the rest of the details we'll discuss two Sundays from now, okay? So let's read about her. Uh, Marsha Hines, uh, her real name is Marsha Elaine Hines and she was born in 1953 in Boston in the US to Jamaican parents. Uh, she is an American-Australian vocalist, actress and TV personality. Hines made her debut at the age of 16 in the Australian production of the stage musical Hair and followed with the role of Mary Magdalene in Jesus Christ Superstar. She achieved the greatest commercial successes as a recording artist during the late 1970s with several hit singles, including cover versions of Fire and Rain. Awesome! I'm going to be playing this song right after this. Uh, and also, I just don't know what to do with myself. You, that was the first song I played tonight in this non-Indonesian segment, Something's Missing in My Life, and her top 10 albums, Marsha Hines, Shining, and Ladies and Gentlemen. Hines was voted Queen of Pop by TV Week's readers for three consecutive years from 1976. Hines stopped recording in early 1980s until she returned with Right Here and Now in 94, the same year she became an Australian citizen. So she was American citizen, yeah? And so she moved to uh, Australia and she became Australian citizen. As I said, she's, I think she's more known now as Australian artist. I think she's established her career uh, like, like very well established, you know? So to me, she's Australian. <laughs> okay, anyway, she was the subject of uh, the 2001 biography Diva, The Life of Marsha Hines, which coincided with the release of the compilation album Diva, which we, oh no, which is this one, yeah, which is this one, yeah, the one, one of the CDs we're listening to today. Um, since 2003, she uh, has been, I think this is not updated yet, because I don't think Australian Idol exists anymore now, I think it stopped, uh, but so she was Australian Idol, uh, uh, one of Australian Idol judges, she was one of them, since 2003, since the first one, until the last one, okay. And uh, her elevated profile, uh, her elevated profile led to a renewed interest in her as a performer. It's true. Like I didn't know about her before, um, but after the Australian Idol, and I started, you know, buying all her CDs again. You know, so I love it. You know, I love, I love her music. You know, and her two thousand and six album, This Cothek, which we will listen next, uh, next, next Sunday, two Sundays from now. Uh, it peaked at number six on the Australian Recording Industry Association RER Albums chart. Hines was inducted into the RER Hall of Fame on July the 18th, 2007. And she is the mother of another Australian singer, Danny Hines. I think Danny Hines was born in Australia. Yeah, I think I think she's, she's just Australian. Yeah, I think. Although I think she, she can be American if she wants to, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, she was born in Australia brought up there and yeah she's an Australian artist Danny Hines uh, but I don't have a CD I think so I'll find out if I do maybe I'll bring along in the you know second Sunday from now okay uh, it, she did a collaboration with her daughter as well in in the single stomp in 2006 okay so yeah that's a bit about her and she is uh, related to uh, not not just related she is actually her, a, a cousin a cousin of the former uh, U.S. Secretary of State, Colin Powell. And she is also a cousin of uh, Grace Jones, you know, 
the living legend Grace Jones. So yeah, she is obviously uh, she was born to be famous, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, a bit more information before we move on with her song. As I said, the rest of you know all the information about her career as well as all her album details. We'll talk about it two Sundays from now. Uh, but let's uh, check the background information. Um, now, apart from her real name, Marsha Elaine Hines, and she's known professionally as Marsha Hines only, she's apparently also known as Shanti Rene, or Rene, Shanti Rene, or Rene, however you read it, uh, and also known as Monica Hinmarsh. I've never heard of this, so I don't know, but this is what Wikipedia states, so, you know, most of the times it's correct. So, yeah. Um, so she's, uh, she's uh, based in Sydney, uh, in Australia, and her genre is pop, disco, R&B, jazz, gospel, and funk. I think she's, she's just quite versatile. Even listening to her uh, 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 voice, I think she can do a bit of rock kind of soul, you know. Um, okay, so she's been active since 1970 until now. Okay. Alrighty. So I think that's all for now. Um, we're going to talk more about Marsha Hines uh, two Sundays from now. Uh, and we will also be listening to uh, two more CDs from her. But today, uh, as I said already and I showed it to you guys already, we're listening to these two uh, CDs of Marsha Hines, okay? Queen of Pop and Diva. Okay, so now it's time for us to get back to our music, of course, from Marsha Hines. And I kind of forget... Which city? Um, okay, this city. This city. <laughs> this city. And um, we're playing... Oh, yeah. I mentioned just now we, we're going to play Fire and Rain. So, this is um, uh, Fire and Rain, one of Marsha Hines' hit singles, okay? Obviously, this is the cover version of Fire and Rain. Still in Kumbang Channel. Kumbang, kumpul, barang yo. Mm-hmm. 